Hi. Hey y'all. Welcome to Knitting in Our Jeans. Yes. I'm Liz. I'm Carolyn. And if you're new, thank you for finding us. Thank yes. you for checking us out. And if you're returning, Welcome. thank you. Yes, we appreciate it a lot. Um, really gets us excited that people are watching, which is great. And we're hoping that we're helping you with your knitting journey or your knitting exploration or whatever your crafty journey is. I think all of us keep trying to jazz it up, do something a little different. Mm -hmm. And of course, my long-term goal is to knit myself out yes. of this. I have basically a year and a half to see what kind of headway I can make. Oh, so, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a riot. You better have a spare bedroom at some oh, point. Oh, this is going to be Oh, <coughs> this is going to be good. And yes, I still have a cough. I'm better. Um, asthmatic bronchitis now, up from pneumonia. So my oxygenation is back to normal. Very cool. So finish the antibiotics. Um, you know, they said at my age. Don't you hate it when some people say, you know, at your age? Anyway, at my age, apparently it can take two to three months. Better not. I have things I want to do. But anyway, so I'm doing better, and I am C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R on Ravelry and Instagram, except most of the time I'm the one posting is knitting in our jeans, except for this afternoon she posted is knitting in our jeans. Well, I haven't posted that yet. I figured we would, I would post it after. Well, I think you posted... Well, I posted on Jenny's Our post. note thing, yeah. On so Jenny's Tiny post. Paper Foxes just posted that they're buying a farm. I'm so excited. I was talking to them at Rhinebeck last year and they were telling me about this plan to to buy a farm, um, almost like a garden, a kitchen garden type of farm. So it's some sheep, but not huge herds of, of things. <coughs> and I told them about my plans to live on a boat. And we both, you know, roundly, you know, smiled at each other. Um, but I think both of us are moving in, in our own directions, and I'm so excited for them. So that's just great. And you are who? I'm Two Liz for you. T O O L I Z Z F O R Y O U. Yes, because I, I there is a stitch marker that is no longer here. Oh, I'm sure we can find one. I will. I'm getting one. But oh, I'm look, just, here's one. Yeah. No, <laughs> I. I found one down by my sewing machine. A plastic, like a yeah, a plastic removable. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, no, this is this is good, good, good. Well, I'm sure good. when you okay. stand up, we'll find it. Yeah, well, I just she's need making it. great strides on this thing over here. So, speaking of things we're doing, so it's the Olympic Games. Yeah, I don't know if you all know, which means the U.S. has their first gold medal in slopeside snowboarding. Yes. A 17-year-old, one of the youngest members of the U.S. Olympic team. And uh, we saw it yesterday, and it was stunning. Yeah. He was stunning um, and so excited. And he's from a family of seven kids, and they're all there. And it's just so exciting. He was gobsmacked. <laughs> he was sitting on the snow just holding his head. It was great. Anyway, on with the knitting. So... Um, as we said before, we uh, there's the Ravelenic Games <coughs> by Ravelry, um, and you can, if you enjoy podcasts, you can join the Team Sasquatch on that. However, I help run the Ravelinux Games, uh, which is done in partnership kind of with uh, Nerd Girls. Um, and so, one of the events is a work in progress. So I, I dug out my gramps. Look at it. Look at it. It has a contrasting hem and two contrast cuffs. Whoa. And I am five rows or five sets into the... Shawl collar? The shawl collar. Short rows. Yes. So I have ten more sets. Well, I'm starting the sixth. So I have nine and a half more sets. And then I have, I think, a solid ten rows after that. And then we assess and figure out the situation for the zipper installation. Right. Okay. But I am trying She's to knock this out. She is trucking along. But I just lost one of the markers, so we're we're gonna have to do some do some do remedial some counting. counting over here. So. <coughs> so I guess I'm entering the whip thing for the Revelinux. Because I, do we have to use Nerd Girl Yarns? No. Okay. But if you do use uh, upwards of 50% or more, you can, you will be entered into a certain prize pool for prizes that are 
nerd girl centric. Related. Yeah. Unfortunately, my whip is Boston Tweed centric. Right. Do you so. have a photo of it before? No, that's fine. I can vouch for you. Yes. I have a picture of it right. at the... the um, Just yes. to show that you started it before February 2nd? Yes. Good. I do. Because that's our, that's our rule. We, since, and we didn't realize it until um, about a week ago, but last time we ran the Olympics, it the Olympic Games started on like the 7th or the 8th. So it was, so a week before that was like the first day of the month or the last day of the previous month. And so when we made that rule this year, we didn't realize that a week before was actually the second. So we ended up uh, just saying, if you cast her on prior to a week before. Yes, um, I counts. have our own podcast. This. Yes, I know. Yes, I had started, I had five or six rows mm -hmm. uh, done before February. Mm -hmm. Um. I had, well, the day I started coughing. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. So speaking of that project, as I'm sitting here winding yarn, I had finished the back. I'll tell you, being sick and staying home from work does wonders for your, sew uh, for your sewing and your knitting. Look yeah. at that back. And help me and show the, yes, this is an armhole here. It's just curling. I obviously haven't blocked it as yet, but um, it will be blocked. Because I want this yarn to settle in. In and of itself, you can rip it by blowing on it. Which is why when I wind it, I hand wind yeah. it. Because you can't... The amount of pressure that comes from our Swift is far too much. So I finished the back, which I was working on last week. And then I have gotten as far as the separation in the front. And the front has a really pretty pattern. Do you see the you can kind, kind of, of see it. almost you can see the lacy laciness of it. There's it's supposed to I think look like little snowdrops. It's lovely. There. Oh look at that. That that's somewhat helpful. Maybe. Uh, there. Anyway, it's supposed to look a little like snowdrops. And my husband was so proud of himself. He says, Oh, what are you making? A sweater? It, like, yeah, what does it look like? I mean, and he says, I, is it a cardigan? Is it a pullover? I said, it's a little of both. Because he says, does it have buttons? I went, bingo. So, yes, this is a pullover that has a deep separation. And then there will be buttons that kind of go up to the top. <coughs> so, yes. Um, and it is, he's very proud of himself. It is a Wellwood. Henley with bib pattern, so you can see it's deep Henley. Um, many of my Henleys I only have open from about here, um, but this is a really deep Henley, and um, I'm liking it. Uh, it's definitely a sweater that I will wear over something else, either over some kind of t-shirt or some under thing, because the yarn is rustic. Mm -hmm. and I just think it'll do better. I'll like it better over a shirt or something else, so that's fine. Speaking of which, what I have on is my cocoon sweater. I guess I should stand up. With a uh, an Irish um, shawl pin right there. And that's out of Studio Sock yes. neighborhood? Yes. Thomas? Uh, I think so. Yeah. You want to know how I know? You looked it up. Hold your sleeve next to my next to my contract. Yep. Anyway, um, it's such a good gray. It is. It a is such a good gray. <coughs> um, and if anyone's curious, I'm wearing my reflected lines, which actually, when we go back downstairs, I want to talk to you about how we can make it actually fit properly. Okay, we'll deal with that. Yeah. So we, I've been. Knitting away. I would uh, say we would discuss it here, except it's going to involve both of us standing up and maneuvering it, and that won't record well. No, because we've we got are. this tiny camera. Like, it's called the computer. Yeah. Um, but we'll figure it out. And then the other thing is Elizabeth has been really pushing me to work on these coats, which is a good idea, because if we had waited for me, it would have been summer again. Um, so I've been... Working on my coat, so I will get up and I will put my coat on to show you the progress that we've made. And it really is all due to Lisbeth. 
because she's been the fiend who has been cutting, pinning and cutting. It's giant. Yes. This is <laughs> a pattern that normally would have been termed an opera coat. So, it's originally an Oscar de la Renta. And so it is meant to go over a very fancy gown. So I have my collar. Collar on. I've got all kinds of pleats in this thing, and I've got pockets Beautiful in, the, pockets in the pleat. Right there. And they are hand-stitched together for the moment uh, until the, the coat is finished. Um, and it, I think it's going to be somewhat princess lawn because it does come in at the waist. It is. It is. It has princess seams. So. Yes. And um, we are working on cutting out the sleeve. So by next week, I will have sleeves. And if, if I get ambitious, you might have lining. And if we have lining, then I've got pretty much a finished coat. I have to order a separating zipper because I'm going to have a zipper in the front <coughs> of about, I guess, about 30 inches underneath. And then I'll have frogs uh, closing it. So over neath, oh, over neath, over <laughs> the uh, zipper, um, and then a black frog in the back over the pleat in the back. So it does open up quite a bit from the waist down. Um, it's I'm very gonna probably cut off about a foot and a half. Yeah, yeah, it's quite uh, long. It's very long, but your coat we made long when we made it, and now I'm not making <coughs> the longest version because of my fabric, but I'm making the one that's, I think, closest to my current coat length. And it was really good for yeah. keeping the, the cold weather out. I think yeah. I could wear my finished coat to Pyongyang and be warm. It's 16 degrees there at the moment, uh -huh. uh, according to NBC. And I think this coat will be really fantastic at keeping me warm. We have, um, the white that you saw is Thinsulate. Um, and then there'll be um, satin lining that covers the whole thing. I've managed to line the pockets. Unfortunately, it's lined on the outside of the inside, so it's like it's a okay. little odd. But it's the way the, the the pocket went in that I would have had to potchkey around with the lining so that it wouldn't show on the outside. But I did uh, quilt the pocket. So that it gives the pocket some stability because it's it's wool and wool will stretch as we all know. So I wanted to stabilize it with the satin and then I, I quilted it like every two inches before I sewed the pocket into the coat. So I think both pockets are well stabilized and I'm pretty pleased with the whole thing. I top stitched the pockets. So... That and we is optimized doing, the pockets. Yes, we optimized the pockets. The pockets are two inches bigger all around, so it's in terms of volume, um, they're quite a bit bigger. I'm pretty sure you could fit your phone in there. I think I could put my phone, my gloves, and a hat. So good. That's good because otherwise I'll lose my hat. Mm -hmm. But this will look really nice with that hat that I made. And then I also looked up uh, hats on Amazon, and there are some alpaca fur hats. Um, and since alpacas grow their wool back again and again and again, and I've met some of those alpacas in Peru, um, I may buy one of the black alpaca hats. I think that would be the middle of winter. I think that would be nice. So anyway, check that out. Um, let's see what else. What else are you doing? Well, I finished something <coughs> this week. You did. Oh my goodness. My Rosa sweater. So, I finished it, and I wore it on Friday, and it was glorious, and I'm so happy. Um, so, I made the sleeves to be pretty much the perfect length. They hit right at my elbow, and so I can pull them up or a little bit, um, up or down a little bit. Um, and I'm so happy. Friday was cooler, wasn't it? A little. Yeah. I mean, yesterday was warmer because of the rain, and yeah. it's really warm today, but Friday was still coolish. Yeah. But this is um, silk and BFL. Beautiful. Yeah. So I was super happy with it. I and love the color choice. I, knew, I do, too. It's the retreat colorway. Very nice. It makes me very happy. Um, and my math for getting the sleeves was a little bit off in terms of how much 
yardage I had to use and things like that, which was very funny because I then did the math as I was getting close to where I wanted to start the ribbing. Uh huh. And either I was going to make, either I was going to stop and I have probably 20, I think I have 20 grams left, 15 grams, something like that, left of the yarn. Or I could make the sleeves, the, the, oh my god, I hate these sleeves length. And I was like, it's probably better to have leftovers yes. than to hate the sleeves. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. What kind of question is that? Uh, the kind of question you ask it around um, 10, 15 at night, night on, on a Thursday. Tuesday. Oh, a Tuesday. Okay. On a Tuesday. Yeah. I see. Yeah. But I'm really happy that I finished it. Um, and I'm trying to think. I'm, I then... So... Did that, I'm trying to think what else I've been knitting on. Oh, and then I was knitting on the Pincha. Were you? Knit. Yeah, I knit on it on Wednesday. So what happened on Wednesday? I didn't get to go. I was coughing my full head off. So I just, I went to <coughs> knit and I made, I did one more pattern feather. Okay. Um, so I'm working still on that. But what came in the mail was my swap box. <gasps> I wondered what that was downstairs. My swap box. So I had, or Strawberry Darling had me, and she's lovely. And so she made me Now, did a, you also have Strawberry Darling? No. I oh, had, really is a round yeah. robin. So she made me this lovely cowl. Oh, how cute. Out of, your ratings just went up. And, and buttons. Super, yeah, look at the buttons. Um, and then she got me this great... Cool drinks, you know. Oh, that's wonderful. Cool drink tumbler with Harley Quinn on it. Which you love. I do. It makes me very happy. Uh, and then she got me a skein of Niffler on Clever. Oh, wow. How beautiful is that? That's how wonderful. Is that? I know. Oh, my gosh. I know, and I love Clever. Clever I do, Clever is too. super washed Clever merino. It's just, it's such a workhorse, and I love it. Um, I also got some nail wraps. Oh wow! And oh some wow! Lego Harley Quinn minifigure earrings. Oh my goodness! Um, and then I got some fabric. Oh. So first we've got X Men magic bag, and then we've got Princess Bride. I think you I'm know what? thinking think... a project bag, but for some reason I want to order more of this and like make a skirt or something. But Very I feel cool. like that'd be a little outrageous. Yeah. So shorts. No. Wanna, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, a yeah. Sport would be pretty. So, that, and then a mug. And then I also got tea, but the tea I left at home. So, thank uh, you, Strawberry Darling, Darling. Yes, as self-defense. Um, thank you, Strawberry Darling. I've already posted my thank you post, but thank you again. Um, I really love all of it. Uh, and I am very happy. I'm very impressed with your couponing skills. Ah. Um, very impressed with your couponing skills. Why? Because they can be pricey. We, because we, uh, we tried very hard this um, swap. Like everyone tried very hard this swap to stay within swap budget. Ah. Which can be very difficult. Can be very trying. I think those earrings are adorable. I know. Just I have to figure out what outfit adorable. I can wear with, wear them to work with, because. Why they not? need to be worn. To they work. need to be worn. They need to be worn. Absolutely. And they need to be worn. So that before work. we forget, we yes. should mention the Long Island Yarn Crawl. Okay. Those of you who think that we're focused on it, you're absolutely right. And it was going to be the week of, or the days of April nineteenth to the twenty second. There are ten yarn shops on Long Island that will mm -hmm. be participating. The Knitting Place in Port Washington, Knit in Roslyn, which is our local knit shop. The Knitted Pearl, The Knitting Garden, The Knitting Cove and Yarn Shop in Port Jefferson. Lovely people there. Uh, the Knitting Store in Oceanside. Uh, so, what's new in yarn, too? I've gotten some lovely things there. And you got some interesting fabric. Mm-hmm. <coughs> the Long Island Yarn and Farm. I didn't Love work Love Long Island Yarn and yes, Farm. Yes, I didn't work on my lady yet. I really am trying to do our... Oh, my hair is itching me. Do our whip-along or whip it in shape, or whatever. And so I'm going to try to finish this, then go back to my owl. But I also mentioned that we've got 
I've got a baby sweater that I need to work on. So I'm yeah. going to be finishing that, working on the owl, and then pulling mm -hmm. in the baby sweater. And I will be working down this stack of whips here. Mm -hmm. And then, so Altman's Needle Arts, I've always gotten something yeah, there. Something lovely. And Black new. Sheep Knitworks, which is new. They're in East Hampton. So I really, I, we're going to have fun. We're going to have to figure out, we're going to have to properly plan this. Okay. This year. Well, you're going to get the spreadsheet out. I will get the map out. I'll get and we'll the map it out. out. I mean, because I can probably run out of school at noon, one o'clock. <coughs> I could on probably a Friday. take. I could probably take a half day. So we could start then. We could. Uh, or yeah. You know, so you decide what you can do. Yeah, with work, and we'll, and we'll, go, we'll figure it out. go from there. Yeah. Um, because your father has figured out he can manage to work the office without me. Good. Yes, I have. It's only been... taken him a few years. Yes. Well, you know. Did you just lose your yarn ball? Yes. Well, you know, it sticks a little, and then you don't want to tug too hard because then it'll rip. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So while it knit last weekend or uh, this past week, I also so remember how I wanted to make that baby vertebrae out of this yarn. Yes. Well, I'm giving it back to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Instead, I'm going to make it out That's of cute. yeah, out of this, which That'll is sublime really um, baby cashmere merino silk DK. And is it um, it's super wash? It's washable, is what um, Cheryl said. Cheryl said it's was washable. Good. Uh, machine washable wool cycle. Nice. Wash dark color separately, dry flat. Excellent. Yeah. I would put that in with this. I'm going to. I'm going to put a note in with it. Um, and I got two balls of it, and I'm going to be knitting the newborn uh, vertebrae pattern. And see, I'd like to do drawstring bags like that. Okay. I like drawstring bags because I find the zipper bags, as much as they're good at keeping things in, I tend if I zip my yarn, mm -hmm. I then just zipper cut it. Yeah. But so I'm gonna. I want to get this shawl collar done. I want to get, I'm trying to be monogamous as far as I can, um, but I'm probably going to cast on that vertebrae tonight when I go home. I would have cast it on here, except I packed metal needles with it. And, your and since hurt. I'm doing metal needles for this darn collar, I really would rather <coughs> have a wooden needle um, in the mix. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that could be a good purse project. So I, yes, oh, I yes. left it downstairs. I yeah. got. I've gotten to the ribbing on my Rhinebeck shot socks. Nice. Yes, my one sock. <laughs> so hopefully I can get that done and then start the next one. Uh -huh. But since I want to send, I want to, or at least get that baby sweater, you know, out and out and done with. Maybe I can cast that on tonight and then work on that over the next week or so. That sounds like a good idea. Um, because this is definitely not portable. No. No. Your grandpa is rather big, tall, long arms. It's a huge. I think I only knit the size thing. forty-four, though. Right, but so, still, yeah, it's, it's just like, a lot of yarn. It's like it's like, like a blanket. Yeah, yeah, it's not like Poppy where I knit the size small. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. So I think. So I did not work on anything else. Yeah. Well, I did. I think do a lot on this particular thing. So I will probably finish the front, if not tonight, then tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then I can start in the sleeves, and hopefully I can get that with done. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. That would be nice. Then circle back around to my blue owl mm -hmm. and start the baby sweater. And because the baby sweater yarn is in is in this pile, it's mm -hmm. over here. Um, for anybody who started the, in the whip along, good. I had a couple, one question. If you could take a picture of what it is when you start working on it, and save that picture so that when you post it, when it's finished, you have a picture of where you started and then it finished. Right. So you could also do it where you post that photo of where you're initially starting and then update that post with the oh. end photo. Yes. Like edit? Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. You confused the heck out of Rachel and your responses in the thread. Well, she knows better than to ask me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, her exact response was, I thought she was getting better. And I was like... No. <laughs> it's okay, Rachel. We've got it figured out. Yes. Um, All right. So post your picture, then you go back and edit it. So you end up with one post. Right. Yes. For each project. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, right. So 
Rhinebeck is starting to be worked on. Oh, really? Yes, it is. And because um, for those of you who um, volunteer or get involved with helping at Rhinebeck, you know Karen Santucci runs Rhinebeck. Um, and I was amazed to find out she runs it from Georgia. So she does all her planning online. She has these people that she counts on and, you know, who run the booze every year. And this year she was looking for a few people to teach a couple specific courses. So we may have more information, we will have more information about Rhinebeck as it comes along, but we may have some exciting information, depending on what my email holds. Um, and we'll, we'll also think about having perhaps a meetup. Yeah, probably. I think that would be fun. Well, we'll probably also do <coughs> the podcaster meetup. We'll probably be at the podcaster meetup. Well, absolutely. Currently, I don't have a wedding that weekend this year, so. Better not. No, the one wedding I have in October is the first weekend of October. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, and we'll have buttons, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So the podcasters meet up, buttons, and but it'd be nice to have a meet up with our people. Yeah. And so as we get more details about Rhinebeck, we will let you know. Um, it is, I think it, it feels like one weekend later than usual, but I think that's just the way the dates yeah. are running. <coughs> yeah, we will I'd... be staying as usual in the residence inn, uh, about a half an hour away. Um, but that's because we just liked having more room in our, in our room. Rhinebeck, mm -hmm. of course, itself is lovely, and I think we'll probably eat dinner there this time. Um, okay. And we'll try to keep you posted yeah, on when... Yeah, it's the 19th through the 21st this year. Indie Untangled is planning mm -hmm. to post their their tickets. Yep. And she, they moved venues, if you haven't seen that post yet. It's very exciting. Very exciting, because it will be a larger venue. Yeah. And uh, so perhaps less, less crowding. But, you know, you really can't control the interest of knitters. No. So she's gotten some wonderful vendors there. And we find it so fascinating that we all show up. So, yes, it is crowded, but that's because we're all interested mm -hmm. in the vendors that she has. I think she does a great job yep. of choosing those vendors. She um, really does. Let's see. Anything else going on? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing better, but I'm probably not going to be at knit night on Monday. Because, <coughs> as you can tell, I'm still coughing. Yeah. It's better. But not quite where it should be. And anything else going on? I don't know. This week, I think, has been a little... Quiet? Quiet. Because I think we've been trying to get stuff just done. We could also try editing that piece of tape, and we could add it oh, onto yeah. this. Or I could, or we can upload it as a separate video. We could do that. We could work on that downstairs, perhaps. We could, perhaps. We have a lot we want to do this evening, though. Yes, we do. And yes. watch the Olympics, too. Yes. I love watching the Olympics. She does. It's the funniest thing. It's a mania. But I do have a lot of knitting done. Yes. So I will work on my Brooklyn tweed mm -hmm. monstrosity here. Get that done. This Brooklyn tweed is stuff that I haven't been happy to have in my stash since I bought it and yeah. found out how easily it tears. So it is nice to finally be making something of it and not having a great deal of tearing going mm -hmm. on. Apparently I'm, I'm becoming a little bit more cautious in what I'm doing, which is amazing. Um, my kids at school, poor things, they get, they are so confused, which you can see, you know, you get to the third week of classes and suddenly the professor disappears for a week and a half. I feel bad, but nothing I can do about it since it is the lacrosse team's fault. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they acknowledge it. Um, Good, as long as they know that it's their fault. They acknowledge it. Good. They are wonderful students. They sit in the front of my classroom, and they came down with the flu first. Those boys, what can I tell you? Anyway, I, I have been back teaching, so I, I was out one full week, and then this past week I didn't go in on Wednesday. I went in on Tuesday and Friday. Um, so I... I it fully anticipate being in all three days this week, so that should be okay. We should be able to get back on schedule. Not a problem. Good. Yes. Have you been following on um, the Fiber Uary or the Yarn Love Challenge this month? I have not. What's going on with that? Tell me all so about it's, it. So there are two uh, <coughs> posts a picture a day 
kind of Instagram tags that are going on. And one is called Fiber You Wary. And the other is the Yarn Love Challenge, which we have participated in before. Yes, and we have. I am trying to participate in both. Currently, oh I am doing pretty well. Um, so. Do, do, do. <laughs> so, like, yesterday was um, Ravelry Q number 10. So the 10th thing in your Ravelry queue. Oh. For the February. And then for Yarn Love Challenge was novelty. So like a novelty yarn or... I have a, I thought, have a bag of them. I thought that my... Actually, because my 10th Ravelry queued item is a oversized clutch. Really? I thought that was a very much Novel. a novelty item. Cause very interesting. We'll see. Um, so today is for February is favorite needles, and oh, then oh. smell darn pretty. Yeah, my needles. darn pretty purple ones are gonna oh. have to be. For me, it's the darn pretty wooden ones, and my hands were bothering me working on the owl that I've got mm -hmm. because I was working in carbons. Mm. So I switched over to wooden needles, and so all uh, better. All better. So my hands just require wooden needles. Um, they bend more. Of course, it's hell on wheels when I've got size ones, twos, or threes because I break those wooden needles. Yeah. I just snap those babies right in half. And I've been known to snap something as big as a four. So obviously, mm -hmm. I, I somehow I put an enormous amount of pressure on my hands and my needles when I'm knitting. Um, can you imagine what would happen to people around me if I weren't knitting? Um, I think it would be homicide around here. Um, be real interesting. It would be very interesting. Um, <coughs> but yeah, no, I'm just trying to think. I don't think, I feel like I haven't done much knitting, but I finished that sweater on Tuesday. I've been doing a lot of knitting, but I didn't finish a lot of things. In fact, I finished nothing, but I made a great deal of progress. The other thing I did was look up the cost of staying in St. John's and St. Thomas for the winter. And I managed to find some nice looking apartments Good. on um, Airbnb and Craigslist is amazing. Hmm. So for, for $1,500, you can get a lovely apartment looking out over the ocean or the Caribbean the Caribbean. And if that there. is what, within your means, well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So... Anybody who's looking to find warmer to climbs for the winter, I certainly would check out the Airbnb long-term rentals. And uh, as you mentioned, Craigslist might be dicey unless you were down there to go actually go and look at them. And mm -hmm. I could see that. So you might want to do an Airbnb for, for short month. term. Yes. And then go look at Craigslist for anything yeah. longer. Of course, I want to be on a boat, which is why I need to knit myself out of my stash. But. Yes, well. Yes, well, and we're going to have to figure out what to do with all these books. Okay. And then, of course, there's the rest of the house. The China cabinet is not bringing me joy. I think you need to start putting tags on stuff that you want. Oh, my goodness. I don't get, care about that stuff anymore. What's China going to do for me on a boat? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So. She's turning into Emily Gilmore, y'all. I am. I am. I am. These are the dining room chairs, Mom! <laughs> they don't bring me joy! <laughs> well, I got rid of your my mother-in-law's chairs a long time ago because they well, weren't yeah. bringing anybody joy and they were breaking. So that that was an easy thing. In fact, we gave those away. Yeah. There's um, freeware. Mm -hmm. so free cycle. I, free cycle. And I might do that with anything that you don't want. I may either oh, do free gosh. cycle or I might bring in... To the 50-50 shop. Or uh, I do idea. three sisters or they, where they come mm -hmm. in and put tags on everything. But that's a while. You're My ridiculous. husband still hasn't figured out exactly. He, he's having trouble with the idea of giving up and retiring. But meanwhile, he tried to hire me out to be a sailor on somebody else's boat. I was wondering on, if this was going to come on up. On Thursday night. And you know... Upon reflection, he freaked me out Thursday night. I couldn't sleep. I got like three hours of sleep. She texted me a wall of text. <laughs> three Thursday times. Thursday night. Like, I go in three separate messages. Walls of text. I go. I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go in and teach. So I leave the house here at 5.30, quarter to 6. Not later than quarter to 6. 
I got three hours of sleep, go teach all day, and then be in promotion and tenure, and then meet with the student after promotion and tenure. Oh I was exhausted. Anyway, so he was telling this woman at the club meeting that, yes, my wife would love to get involved more in sailing and she would like to learn more about navigation. I never said anything about this. But I figure if he's willing to kind of loan me out, I should look at in these women-only uh, training long training things and say, huh, guess what? So-and-so at the club told me about this. I'll see you at the end of next week because I'm going to learn more about navigation. Oh, my God. What I actually had spoken about is for he and I to take one of these sailing um, lessons down the uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines so that we could um, sail the Grenadines without being on a bare boat charter. And we could learn where, where some of the places that you avoid um, and where some of the places that are absolutely fantastic, that kind of thing. So it was a way of learning more about the location without being totally on our own. And somehow he morphed that into God knows what. So anyway, I'm going to keep my eye out. And if any of you all hear about women-only sailing ventures that are about a week long, let me know. I'll include that as a question in this week's Ravelry forum. forum. Yes. So, I don't know what hit his brain, but I think it's hysterical. And, you know, who knows what we'll find. Who knows? Who knows? Meanwhile, I also ordered my book of charts. Good. Yes. So that should be coming this week, too. I did not get the ones that are laminated um, because they are just Long Island Sound. So I got the ones from Delaware up to New England. Nice. Non-laminated, but the full book of charts. So that'll be good for the summer. Um, yeah. And what else? We're just checking out. We're it. trying to, we're trying to get the coats done. Yes. Which is taking a lot of time while we're here. And we're also watching the Olympics. Well, I'm. And we're, we're trying to finish things. Yes. Yes, so there's... Trying very hard not to cast new things on until we finish, finish something, something else. something, yes. In that whip-along thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I've got homework to grade later this evening or early tomorrow morning. And then I've got a couple articles to read because I'm going to meet up with uh, one of the other professors and we're going to start a new piece of research nice. about the IKEA effect. Ah. This should be so much fun. Um, and that is... I think that's about it. It's a short episode today. We're just, apparently, we have not much to talk about this week. Um, next week, we will be a little late because I'm away for the weekend. Yes. Um, but I do expect to come out here on Monday evening. Oh, really? I figured I'm coming. I oh, good. I fly in at, like, 4 or something, so I figured I'd hop on the, you know, I'd hop in the car and come on over and we would record. Oh, that'd be good. Okay. Um, and so we'll... Give you one more day to finish something. So we'll record next Monday. Um, so we'll be a day later. Um, but maybe we'll have some more done. That would be so much fun. It would be so much fun. Um, so I guess it's time to we, weave in our ends. Those ends. And we will Thank talk to you Thank you all for stopping week. by now. Remember, oh. if you like us, put a little thumbs up if you want. Subscribing would be lovely. You don't have to. And, but I get excited. <laughs> and uh, we'd really like to know how you're finding us if you're new. Yes. Um, or if you've watched us a few times, how you found us in the first place. Um, you can leave a comment below or you can uh, come talk to us at, on the Ravelry group. Yes, that would um, be great. So, yeah, please like and subscribe if you feel the need to. Yeah. All Otherwise, right. we're still going to be here. Thanks. Bye. Bye.